Hello, my name is Jonathan. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to give you an honest review of the Artino Cello N Pin Stopper, the SP3, SP4, SP25, and SP30. For the purpose of this honest review, I have used these N Pin Stoppers for over a year. So what you see in front of you is well used, well tried, in the field, on the stage, and here in the studio. And I'm going to give you my opinion on real world applications of these end pin stoppers. Today's honest review is brought to you by musiciansgradebook.com. If you're looking to get professional advice and constructive criticism that will elevate your playing, look no further than musiciansgradebook.com. On their website, you can upload your MP3 recording and the score, and a professional will get back to you in a short period of time for a nominal fee that will definitely make you play better at cello. So check it out, musiciansgradebook.com. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and liking the video if you haven't done already. Yes, my name is Jonathan, I'm the cello coach, and this is my little talk about end pin stoppers. Let's begin with the SP3T, the Sound Anchor Metal, at 870 euros here in Europe. It's going to vary throughout the world. It's basically an end pin stopper for double bass and cello. And what's great about this end pin stopper is that it's quite robust. It's made of full metal, some rubber backing right here, and if you want to attach a string to the leg of your chair, you can totally do that with this. This is the SP3 from Martino. It's raised a little bit and this is hollow and so provides what they say an acoustic space to give more of, I don't know, a sound to your instrument. Honestly, the hockey puck right here is not a very bad a solution for you and it's my go-to for the electric cello. I really like it and uh, the fact it is metal is one of my preferred end pin stoppers from Artino, the SP3. Our next end pin stopper we're going to look at is the SP4T round anchor. And so this one right here, and so this one right here is made of wood. Very similar to the black one down there, but made of wood. String right here, you can attach to your chair leg. You have a plastic part right here where you can attach your end pin and you can see I've used it somewhat and put it in there and and you'll see and I'm going to talk about these little marks right here that's where my end pin goes it's also hollow made of full wood same backing as the sp3 it's very light it's very very light compared to the sp3 so this is a viable solution if you want a more wood looking end pin stopper and weight is an issue, especially if you're traveling and you need something to throw into your bag that doesn't take a lot of weight. Every gram counts. The next end pin stopper is the SP25 cello shape. And you've probably seen this on many a cellist's floor with their end pin stuck in it. This one has been well used and it has a strap that you can attach to your chair, an adjustable strap, which is nice. And this right here is the very well used stopper that I have. It's used a lot right here. It has three different spots to put your end pin here, here, and here. I, I opted for this one the most because it's the deepest, this one as well. And it is made of solid wood. It's just a piece of wood with a bit of cloth on the back. It's not really a rubber stopper on the back. If you use it a lot, you will make a hole in it. And I've made not only one, but two holes in it. There's a hole there, there's a hole there. Also, my puppy has chewed it a little bit. She kind of likes the taste of this wood. So this right here, the SP25 from Artino, is a pretty looking end pin stopper if you want something to look like a cello. I guess now would be a good time to explain why there are many markings outside of the designated area where you put your, well, your end pin. And the reason is because you want to have a very sharp end pin, which you should always have a sharp end pin covered in a rubber stopper. As I showed you before, this end pin goes here and it goes straight through. I can actually feel it right here on the other side. So that wore out and this right here 
would slip. And so I opted for this and really I stabbed it wherever I could just stab it because it's just a general area. And that's what we kind of do as cello players. We just stab the ground. And that's why you have markings outside of the designated area. I put it here and also put it here because I found even on the SP4W, this would slip sometimes. So it was just easier to stab the side of it. So that's why there are dents and markings all over these, especially this one, because it's been used for quite some time. And this one I've used on my travels throughout the world uh, last year. These are right here, products of well-used end pin stoppers. And they're still relatively in the same functional condition as when they arrived in the mail. And the last end pin stopper I'm going to talk about is the SP30 Walnut Sound Anchor from Artina. It is the most expensive, coming at about 26 euros here in Europe. And this is what it looks like. It comes with a nice wooden strap, nice dark colored wood, and it straps to your chair like a, any other good end pin anchor would. It has two spots to put in your end pin. And I almost made a hole through this one right here. As you see, there's a hole going all the way through. So I started to use this one. Not many on the outside because I really liked how high this was, which is a really nice benefit of this. This is a very big acoustic chamber made of wood. So I, I kind of like that acoustic chamber. I never use this here because it's made of metal and it dulled the tip of my end pins. So I opted to use these two and I actually really did like this. Unfortunately, the entire piece right here is made of wood and it broke. This piece right here that connects the SP30 to the strap broke. I stepped on it once and it snapped. Also, this part is also coming down. Again, I've used this significantly through my videos, but I really like this end pin stopper. If they could make this piece right here attach with metal, then I would be much more likely to use this again. But unfortunately, as of right now, I never use this because, well, it broke. And it's a shame because I really liked how higher this was right here. And I liked how it kept my cello off the ground. So maybe when you're tapping your feet during a recording, you don't really hear that or so it doesn't come into your instrument. As for the acoustic chamber on the SP3, SP4, or SP30, did I f notice a significant difference in my playing? No, I did not. I found that the instrument wasn't touching the ground. And for some reason, I found it to be a little more pleasant when it came to editing my videos, especially in the headphones. Will your instrument sound better with this little acoustic chamber in there? Honestly, I didn't find it to be bad and I didn't find it to be good. So I'm sort of neutral on it, but I have to say I really like this one. It was my go-to for quite a, a while, but it broke. And now let's talk about the Artino Cello and Pin Stopper rankings for long-term usage. At the bottom of our list, I put in fourth place the SP30, which was going to be my first but unfortunately it broke. And because it broke, I got to put it at the bottom. I cannot recommend this unless they change the design and put a metal piece here. So if you step on it, it doesn't break. And that is a very important point I'm bringing up. End pin stoppers belong on the ground. They will be stepped on. And because this is nice and fancy and made of wood, it looks nice. But if it can't take your simple weight of you stepping on it, only once I stepped on it once and breaking what good is an end pin stopper if it doesn't have the durability to take a little bit of punishment and a little bit of stepping on the third ranking I would give to is the SP 25 little cello shaped one I can recommend this if you like something again I've used it for quite some time and if you like the shape of the cello it's cute fantastic for you it's thin you will wear a hole through it and scratch your ground over time. And that's something that it will happen. But between this and the SP30, this has lasted years longer than that. I've actually had this prior to Artina reaching out to me and loaning me these wonderful end pin stoppers. So I can recommend this one because I've used it for quite some time. And well, you can't use it anymore because both of them have holes in it. But if you like the shape and something with a strap, the SP25, maybe for you. Number two on our list is the SP4. 
and I really like this one because it's light. It has the ability to be strapped to your chair and it's a very simple design, but I think the best thing about it is the fact that it's absolutely light and you can use a, even a shoelace to tie it to your chair. It has the right plastic piece right here, not made of metal, it's made of plastic because we need plastic not to dull our end pin points. It's a bit delicate. I can see if I use it more that I would just go right through it. But as a traveling end pin stopper, I find it to be quite good and I like the color. Does it stick to the ground? Well, it does. And that's a problem with these end pin stoppers is that they do slide if you get the slightest amount of dust on the bottom of them. So you have to keep them clean. And all puck end pin stoppers are made like that, whether the wood or metal. If you get a little bit of dust on the bottom of them, they're not going to stay down. And at the top of my list, I can highly recommend the SP3 full metal jacket <laughs> Artino end pin stopper. I absolutely love this end pin stopper. I use it for my electric cello. I like the fact that it's got weight to it. And I didn't think I'd like it as much as I do, but I actually really do like it. So the Artino SP3 full metal end pin stopper is definitely the one. If you're going to buy any of these, I would buy this one. Now I wouldn't be me if I didn't show you exactly the setup that I use in every single one of my YouTube videos. If you guessed I use the SP3, you're absolutely right. But I use this. With a combination of both of these together is what I use to play both my electric and acoustic cello. And this is how I set it up. So my acoustic end pin will go right there at a good distance, but because my electric cello is more vertical to the ground, I need the end pin stopper to be much closer to me. And so I use the Artino to place my electric cello to teach you at the fingerings on a various songs here in my YouTube channel. This is by far the best solution I have found for the application of both acoustic and electric cello. And it's been an absolute pleasure to review these end pin stoppers from Artino. So thank you to Artino for sending me these and allowing me to do this very long-term usage ranking video. An honest review on great products that will help you play better cello in the future. So if you learned something today, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It shows YouTube I'm doing a good job. And if you consider buying one of these, well, you can find all of them linked in the description below. So yes, the SP3 full metal, I know it's kind of odd, but a weighty rubbered metal end pin stopper is something you probably really, really like, especially even for bass players. It's nice and robust. I really like that. So thank you once again for spending your time with me here on my channel. And I hope you have a wonderful day night, evening, and morning, wherever you are in the world, as you travel along your own journey of music discovery.